Sophia Martins is our sixth presenter with a presentation titled Leveraging Mobile Networks Energy Efficiency Through Mathematical Modeling. Imagine that you and I are walking down the street when all of a sudden you decide to phone a friend. The conversation between you and the friend at the other end of the line may seem like a pretty ordinary thing, but that couldn't be further away from the truth. What most of us don't realize is that underlying this conversation lies a chain reaction that ultimately leads to energy consumption in the infrastructure that intermediates this conversation. This infrastructure is part of what is known as a 4G or 5G mobile network. And these networks account for as much as 3% of the world's total energy consumption. And yet, we don't know exactly which factors influence the energy consumption of these networks. So let's go back to our early example for a moment. When you call a friend, your phone converts speech into bits and then converts those bits in some form of radio wave. That radio wave is captured by antennas and then converted back into bits in specialized computers before moving into the internet in a process that is known as signal processing. It is precisely that infrastructure where specialized computers and antennas coexist that is the ultimate culprit for the high energy demands of mobile networks today. Moving forward, what we envision is a future where common computers, much like the ones that we have at home, will replace the specialized computers that we use today for signal processing. But in doing so, we risk increasing the energy demands of mobile networks even further. So what can we do to lower these energy costs? Well, in order to optimize something, we need to understand it first. That is why I have focused my PhD in the search for an energy model, a model that describes which factors influence the energy consumption of mobile network infrastructure. One of these factors is noise noise in the channel between your phone and the antennas coming from competing radio waves. It is much like me talking to you here in this quietness versus in the middle of an orchestra. It would certainly take you much more energy <laughs> and ethics to decode what I'm saying if I was surrounded by musical instruments, right? Well, the same principle also applies to that hypothetical model that I'm searching for. We know that noise is an important parameter in that model, but it is not enough to get an accurate estimation of energy consumption. And that is because mobile networks are large and highly complex systems that are influenced by a multitude of different factors. And yet, I believe it is worth searching for this energy model in hopes that one day we may be able to use it to improve the energy efficiency of mobile networks and thus contribute to a more sustainable planet. Thank you.